Yo, bitch, you think you bad just cause your mom don't mean I can't put a cap in your ass, bitch, man? Ass, bitch, man? Ass, bitch, man? What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning into this video today. Today, we have a fight between two YouTubers. We have one FIFA YouTuber named Little Jello and a COD YouTuber from Call of Duty Black Ops 3 named King Manny. Now, I know you're probably thinking, ooh, a fight, that's going to be pretty interesting to watch. No, you're wrong. This fight fucking sucked because there's sucker punches going on. There's just weak punches going on. And overall, I'm very disappointed in fucking King Manny, all right? But first things first, guys, here are their YouTube channels. In the top left corner, you can see Little Jello, and in the bottom right, you see King Manny. Uh, if you've noticed, Little Jello has a tenth of the fucking followers that King Manny has. So why they're beefing, I don't know, but I guess that's not for me to find out. But anyway, here's the video. I'm going to play it in full, and then we're going to break this shit down. So here you go. I'm so <laughs> Damn. Oh my fucking god. Alright guys, as you just saw, that was a pretty weak ass fight. There was one punch and then just a lot of wrestling and dick pulling, right? And I know you're probably wondering, okay, why did Mr. Young Jello, Lil Jello, look away? He looked to the right and then like let himself get punched, right? Okay, well let me tell you the story. So King Manny actually admitted to Asking him to look away or pointing at something in the beginning of the video saying, look over there. Then whenever Jallo looked to the right, he freaking sucker punched him. Like, how much of a pussy can you possibly be? Little Jallo isn't even big. How could you possibly be so scared you to sucker punch him? Like, bro. And then to admit that shit on Twitter and say, oh yeah, you, you know, I, well, I had to. I had, I had to make him look right just so I could hit him. It's like, you weak ass bitch. If I was his damn parents, I would be so mad. I would ground his ass, not for getting in a fight, for sucker punching somebody. I'd be like, well, you better fucking let him see you next time. You better throw a hook from across the room so he has time to fucking weave it. Like, make this shit fair. Don't sucker punch him. Hey, hey, check that out. Wait, what? Oh, dumbass. What the fuck? Boy, if I was his parents and I saw my kid doing that shit, I would have to throw hands with him whenever I got home. I'd be like, okay, okay, here's some UFC gloves. Now, how about we fight, son? Because you can't be sucker punching jokers out there in the streets making my last name look bad. What, what, what is Queen Manny's last name out there? Because I got to find out who his dad is so I can give him a damn ass whooping for this shit. But at the same time, I don't know why I was surprised. I mean, let's take a look at this joker. Now, as y'all can see here, this dude does not look hard at all. This looks like the softest ass pillow pet ass dude in the world. I mean, what the fuck is he doing smiling like this? I understand that anyone, when they smile, they're going to look happy. Man, this dude looks like the oldest newborn baby to escape the womb. Like, look at his face right now, bro. Dude's forehead is long as shit with this ugly fake ass hair. It looks like he has weave in. I mean, what the hell is this? Like, a black person version of a pompadour, motherfucker? Like, cut that shit off, dude. Just go bald, because you got a fucking 12 head as it is, dumbass. But hey, I mean, enough of that, right? Let's break down this fight now, because I'm not going to lie. When he first swung this punch, I thought, damn, this dude got power behind this. Like, he's finna clear this dude's teeth out of his mouth. I mean, hell, guys, you have to admit, whenever you see this, you're like, oh, shit. Like, someone's about to yell, world star at the back. Damn, bro, this dude punched the fuck out of him. Like, when if you just saw that, you would think, oh, this dude's easily asleep. Like, he put his ass in the coffin, right? Wrong. You're wrong for that. He didn't put him in the coffin. This dude has no fucking punch power. Motherfucker has softer hands than Mayweather in this bitch. This dude was never gonna knock anyone out his whole life. He should've never swung like that. Now I see why he made him turn the other way. He knew he was gonna throw these fucking pillow punches. Pet, 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 sounding ass punches. But I mean, shit, at the end of the day, he still caught him off guard with a full fucking force punch. And then he just decides to do this next? Oh my fucking god. Oh my. Just like he said, oh my fucking god. Like, fuck, dude. You just laid this dude. Well, you should have laid him out with a punch. Then you just run up all arched back and try to, like, punch him in the back of the head. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Like, you just showed that you don't want to fight. Yeah, you swung first. I wish so bad you got your ass beat. Fucking shit. Alright guys, I'm fucking done. I'm tired of this shit. I am so tired of this. I'm tired of seeing people act hard and, and start swinging on people and thinking they're going to whoop someone's ass. And then doing this. Start wrestling the dude and trying to dick pull and stuff. It's like, bro, come on. Just kiss him on the neck if you want. I mean, damn, bro. Like, let me see this dude in this. Let this dude steal off on me in the streets like that. 
he's finna get the meanest jab to the throat. This dude's finna feel like he fought Bruce Lee. Just cause I'ma unleash that dragon being so fucking mad that he just tried to tell me, hey, look that way, and then punch me in the face, man. Hell nah, boy. With that weak punch, he probably didn't even punch the dust off that man's face. I mean, realistically, he needs to get his ass whipped one good time because he's going around sucker punching people. He needs to learn that, hey, some people are not going to be playing. You're going to sucker punch someone and they're just going to eat the fuck out of punch and turn back at you and look at you like, I ain't the one, the one to get played like a poop butt. See, I'm from the street, so I know what's up. You're going to be standing there sad as fuck looking like, really, nigga? I mean, I understand that Jello didn't want to fight. He even said on Twitter, you know, that he's not a violent person. He doesn't want to fight. You know, he's just not into that type of shit. But you're going to mess around and fight somebody that does want to fight. And they're going to punch your motherfucking head off your shoulders, bro. They're going to be playing bowling with your fucking head. Like, you really need to watch out next time, oh, DJ Manny Fresh. Fucking Queen Manny, dumbass. But, you know, to conclude this video, all I got to say is, you know, I don't want to be too harsh or anything. I just got to say something to Manny real fast. Uh, You know, you're a weak pussy-ass bitch, and you need to stop trying to fight before you get your head knocked off. But, hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. and. uh Leave a like if you like. Maybe share if you want to share with all your friends. But regardless, guys, have a great rest of the day.